got you open the doors now. Yes. All right, jack of all trade. It's T-minus about four months until the launch of the Artemis II mission. We got the chance to hear from the Canadian astronaut who will be on board, and he got a chance to answer questions from elementary students visiting the Canadian Space Agency. How do you know if it's day or night in space? Oh. Ah, well, really by looking at our watch, because for our mission, we will spend almost all the time in sunlight, because we'll be so far away from the Earth, there'll be no shadow. Artemis II will mark the first time a space crew has traveled to the moon since the Apollo missions more than half a century ago. Fun fact, in Greek mythology, Artemis was the goddess of the moon and the twin sister of Apollo. Now, it's going to be quite a trip. Once in orbit, the Orion spacecraft will circle the Earth twice to build up the speed needed to get to the moon. And when the crew arrives, the spacecraft will use the moon's gravity to slingshot itself around and set a course back home, where Orion will splash down off the coast of San Diego. All told, we're talking about roughly 10 days of travel and over a million kilometers. Are you scared to go in space without knowing what could happen? Uh, yes, I, uh, I definitely get scared. And uh, there are aspects of the mission that are scary. If you're taking risks in your life, they have to be for a good reason. And we think this risk is for a good reason. We think it's pushing humanity forward, and therefore we should take it. Now, as the name suggests, Artemis II is just one step in the Artemis campaign, and it's considered a test flight. All of this is leading to Artemis III, planned for 2027. For that mission, astronauts will not only fly to the moon, they'll also land on the surface, just one more small step for humanity on the path to eventually visit the red planet, Mars. Mars.